Hello guys. So, what I want to show you in this video is how to overlay render images in, uh, in twin motion over real footage. So, for example, what if you have this render and you have this photo here and what you want to do is put this building over this foundation and to have like a CGI, okay? So to have a render over a footage and the final result would be something like this. Okay, this is not perfect or something like that. It's just a quick test. Let's get started. What you will need first of all is this small program. I will put a link in the description. It's named Window Top. What this will allow you to do is to make window transparent. You will see what you will need, why you will need this in a moment. So just click download, it will redirect you to some page and install the last version of this. So the next thing, let's check the photo. As you can see, our photo is almost square. We, we don't need it square. We need it to be as the usual renders. You know, but the render is 16 by 9 ratio. So what we have to do, select our photo and modify the ratio of the photo. I will use Photoshop to do this, but you can use any other software to change the ratio of the photo, to match the ratio of the render. I will just drag and drop in Photoshop. And here I will change the ratio, just like that. I will drag it in here. I think this is okay. With this, I will save as now desktop. That's it. I will close and exit. So right now, the photo has the ratio of 16 by 9, exactly as the render from Twin Motion. Next thing you have to do is to determine the focal length of the photo you took with your phone or camera. This, fo this photo was taken with an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So what I will do to determine the, the focal length, I will just go on Google, just write the phone that you used. And here I just wrote iPhone Pro Max and I have the focal length. And the focal length for iPhone Pro Max is 26 millimeter. This is very important, okay? Because if not, you will not be able to match the perspective and uh, everything else in Twin Motion. So, now, back in Twin Motion, here I have a very simple project. It's a better structure with some panels. What I want to do, first of all, let's go to Media, Image, Create Image. This is our image here. I will go to More, I will go to Camera, and I will select the focal length here. We determined that on iPhone 13 Pro Max, this is 26. I will leave it 26. I will go out of here. The next thing, what I want to do is to go Start, and you have to open Window Top application, the application that you previously installed. I will click it, nothing will happen, but this application is already running in the background. The next thing, open the photo that you want to overlay. This is our photo and let's make it like that. What you want to do now is make the Twin Motion window transparent so you can overlay in the background the real photo. It will be a little bit confusing on the video, but when you will do it, you will see it's easier than I'm showing it here. Select the photo minimize the window and let's place the photo exactly over our viewport. Something like that. Now you can see we have our building and we have in the background, if I will just increase the opacity a little, you can see. Now the next step is to overlay our building as close as we can on this foundation. This is what I want to do in my situation. I want to place this building over this foundation. 
the trick to place it correctly is that first you have to go in the let's say approximate location from where you took the photo because you know the the lens the perspective will be okay and after that whatever you have to do is only to zoom in out you have to rotate around the image and it's just as simple as that now that i place this or maybe even before you could hide you can see now the you can hide actually the flat i also will hide this floor because i already have it in the real photo and just a little bit of little bit of adjustment in order to make it as perfect as i can as you can see i want to repeat it just a little bit more something like that now that you have set up the correct position of the building over the photo let's disable opacity i will enable our landscape because i want some reflection in our panel because without the landscape i will not have these reflections and also to see the shadows and other details just go back to the photo you see the sun position is left in the photo in uh, our photo in our render it's from the right so we have to do to change this if we want to have a correct representation you will go to image our image you will go to more you will go to lighting whatever lighting you choose you will have to select the from there you will have to change the rotation of the sky dome or the, directly of the sun in my case i have a skylight sky dome so i will go here and i will rotate this to match the photo i think it's something like that in our photo when you finish with the settings of the sun and whatever is in your project you have to render this this view you will go to export select the image that you want to export only this one after that go start export i will export to this the render is done and right now what i have is you have the real photo and you have the rendered photo in the correct perspective so now you can go in a post-processing software and put this over this foundation and you don't have to adjust too many things on this structure because it will fit on in our photo i will just show you this by using photoshop i am in photoshop now i dragged and drop the rendered image now i will drag and drop the photo in photoshop if you have the necessary skill you can do wonders i am just a very beginner so i don't think i will be able to place everything perfectly but if you know photoshop you can do all the shadows and everything else to match perfectly with the real photo i don't want to waste your time with my editing skill in photoshop so i will just uh, fast forward this and at the end i will show you the result it will not be perfect but if you if you know photoshop better than me your results will be much much better For me, this is quite good, 
the TV will have time and better editing skills, you will do it much better. So, in conclusion, in conclusion we went from this to this and we end up with this. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.